Now we will be demonstrating a wrist tape job with the thumb free. So this is in order to stabilize the wrist against hyperflexion. Um, so have your athlete in a position where their hand is up and um, their hand is also wi as wide open as they can have it. They want to keep their uh, position very firm during the tape job as well. The first thing you're going to use is the spray adhesive or the tough skin. So in order to increase the contact of the tape on the skin. So just make sure when you're spraying that you keep the spray away from the athlete's face. Again, you don't need a very uh, generous amount, just a little bit of a spray. Pro Wrap will help protect the athlete's arm hair, so you want to make sure you're using that as well. Mm -hmm. Wrapping that around. When you're coming through to the thumb, you can kind of pop a little hole in there so that it fits right over the thumb. To start with the anchors, again, you're going to be using one and a half inch athletic tape. So you want your first anchor to be half of the tape just over the pro wrap, so a little bit of contact onto the skin. At this point, you want to make sure you're not pulling the tape too tight to the point where they'll lose circulation into their fingers. But just a moderate tension is fine. When you're coming up towards the wrist, you want to angle the tape forwards towards their fingers to follow kind of the anatomy of the wrist there. The tape will naturally follow that angle. So now we have our anchor along the forearm. The next thing we're going to do is create the anchor near the finger side of the tape job. So you want to start with this tape just below the knuckles of the athlete. So you don't want to cover the knuckles and prevent them from being able to move their fingers. At this point, you definitely want to make sure their hand is nice and wide. When you're coming up through the web space of the thumb, make sure you fold the tape over as to not place any extra bulk in through there or create an irritation. And then the tape is going to naturally come back up towards the base of the thumb and back around again to the pinky side of the palm. So now we have our anchors. We're ready to do the strips that are actually going to help prevent this athlete from hyperflexing their wrist. So naturally we want to slightly extend their wrist to shorten the, the muscle tendons there and tape in this position. That way they'll be limited to go back to about neutral. So the first thing you want to do is place one straight strip in the middle. So that's going to start at the anchor near the fingertips and go down towards the forearm. Make sure this is put on with quite uh, a bit of tension so that they are stabilized in that extended position. The next piece of tape is going to go from the pinky side to the thumb side and cross over in a diagonal manner. And the third piece same concept, but from the thumb side over to the pinky side, again placing a moderate amount of tension through that one. So I'm going to repeat that two more times and overlap slightly to create a greater surface area for this to hold. So starting with that center piece there, one diagonally from the pinky to the thumb side. and another diagonally from the thumb side to the pinky side. Should I do one? Once that's all set, you can ask the athlete to try and flex their wrist to see if it's giving them enough support against that. So are you able to flex to the oh, point where you feel pain? That's great. Good. OK, so now we're going to close up the tape job. So we're going to start back down where we began originally and close off those X strips that we just did. So this is going to make sure that those stay stable. Again, always overlapping the tape by half. And then angling upward when you're coming right at the wrist. 
to follow the angle there. And then the last one's going to mimic that uh, finger side anchor that you did at the beginning of the tape job, folding over again at the thumb side, coming back around over to the base of the thumb. And finishing there on the pinky side. And that's how you would stabilize the wrist against hyperflexion for an athletic tape job. Make sure that when you're doing your wrist tape job, you don't tighten the tape too tight around the athlete's forearm. This might cause circulation issues. For more information, videos, or tips, visit sportmedbc.com.